Could there be a real Jurassic Park in the Congo? Could a dinosaur have, a species of dinosaur, survived in the Congo forests for all, all those millions of years? It's not impossible. Science teaches us that the age of the dinosaurs is past, but it doesn't tell us about Mokele and Bembe. Mokele and Bembe is, is an animal reported in Central Africa, in, in the Congo Basin, um, that's said to inhabit the swamps, and it's described like a, a, a sauropod dinosaur, that is, uh, the kinds that had the big bulky bodies and, and the long necks and small heads. It's about 30 to 40 feet long, reddish brown in color, with a great long neck with a crest running down it. It's said to be a herbivore, but very dangerous and to destroy canoes with its lashing tail. The description of Mokele and Bembe matches that of a small Apatosaurus, the dinosaur formerly known as Brontosaurus. Mokele and Bembe, whose name means one who stops the flow of rivers, is believed to live in the Likuala Swamp and Lake Tele region of the Democratic Republic of Congo. It is a great place to hide. 50,000 square miles of swamp and forest, no roads, hardly any humans to bother with. The Likuala Swamp really takes one back to primordial times. Um, I've been in lots of swamps around the world, and this one really made you feel you were back in the Cretaceous. I've flown over it, uh, I've been in it, but flying over it, as far as the eye can see from an aircraft, is, is rainforest. Uh, there, there really could be anything in there, and we wouldn't have the faintest notion of it. Strange reports from the Likuala region have been surfacing for hundreds of years, long before a concept of dinosaurs existed. In 1776, a French missionary, Abbe Poyar, claims to have seen giant three-toed animal footprints that were three feet across and seven feet apart from each other. Almost 150 years later, in 1913, a German expedition encountered natives of the region who described a strange herbivorous creature. It was said to be between the size of an elephant and a hippopotamus with a long, flexible neck. They called it Mokele and Bembe. Even as late as 1983, a Congolese biologist, Marceline Agnagna, claims to have seen the beast wading in the waters of Lake Tele. Despite a long history of sightings and eyewitness testimony, the idea of a living dinosaur in modern times is written off as just another native folktale and superstition. Western scientists, or society in general, do pay more credence to Western reports or accounts than they do from native accounts. Um, some people call that racist. Others have pointed out, well, there's folklore involved in native accounts, so it's harder to draw the line. It's not a matter of, of taking the account of the African native any less seriously than taking the account of a visitor from another culture to Africa. It's a matter of knowing what to look for and where to look for it. I think that it is highly unlikely that McCain and Bembe is nothing more than a native superstition because the sightings with very few exceptions have not been imbued with any divine power. I think that in the absence of such corroborating quasi-religious evidence, the likelihood is that Michaeli and Bambi is a real animal. In the strictest scientific terms then, could there be a dinosaur living in the Likuala Swamp? Could a species of dinosaur survived in the Congo forests for all, all those millions of years? It's not impossible. Um, the, the Congo forest has been there since then, so it's conceivable that a, a small population of these things could have remained there, a few dozen, a few hundred, uh, at different times, surviving to the present. Many experts agree that it is possible, if improbable, that Mokele and Bembe is a living dinosaur. Elephants and hippos are both known to the Baka pygmies and the other peoples of the Congo. They're very familiar with them. Makola Membe is said to be something totally different, and in fact, it, it is said to actually kill both hippo and elephant. There's something else that's hard to quantify, and that's luck. You can just be in the right place at the right time, or not. 
And that's very, very hard to predict when you're talking about 50,000 square miles and your expedition is going to penetrate maybe 10 or 20 or 30 linear miles, not square miles. So the odds are really against you. Greenwell traveled to the Lee Koala Swamp in 1981 in search of Mokele Mbembe. The expedition was led by University of Chicago biologist Roy Mackle, also a member of the International Society of Cryptozoologists. They were able to gather a number of eyewitness reports, but found no physical evidence of the creature. We did have an incident occur um, around the curve on a river where some large animal had just submerged and created a, a wake that hit our dugout. Uh, the natives were very upset and they were shouting that it's Mokele and Bembe. We didn't actually see the animal. We just missed seeing it by, by a few seconds. So maybe it was Mokele and Bembe. Maybe it wasn't. Uh, we'll never know. According to cryptozoologists, the Mokele and Bembe has a deep hatred for the hippopotamus. It will kill a hippo on sight, but being a herbivore never eats it. <laughs> 